This video serves as a brief tutorial on a basic hearing aid listening check. A hearing aid is a personally worn device that amplifies sound. It is programmed by an audiologist for that student's individual hearing loss. A hearing aid has three parts, the ear mold, the tubing, and the hearing aid itself. The ear mold is a custom made piece that fits inside the student's ear. The hearing aid sits behind the ear. All hearing aids require a power source, in this case batteries. When you remove a battery from the package, it will have a sticker on the back of it. You will need to remove this sticker before placing the battery inside of the hearing aid. At the bottom of the hearing aid is a battery door. This also serves as the on-off switch for most devices. Open the battery door and check inside. There may be a diagram that shows you the proper orientation for the battery. Hearing aid batteries have two sides, the rimmed negative side and the flat positive side. If you place the battery inside of the hearing aid and the door does not close easily, make sure the battery is in the proper orientation. Otherwise, shut the battery door completely. This will power on the hearing aid. To turn it off, open the door. When you close the battery door completely, the hearing aid will power on. Within a few seconds, you should hear some feedback when you cup this hearing aid in your hand. This lets you know that the battery is working. In order to make sure the hearing aid is functioning properly, you will need to do a daily listening check. To do this, you will use a listening stethoset. Place the belled portion of the stethoset on the student's ear mold. You can then listen to the sound coming out of the hearing aid by placing the upper portion of the stethoset in your ears, just like you would use a doctor's stethoscope. You should hear amplified sound, but it should be free of distortion, hissing, and crackling. It should also have a consistent sound and should not cut on and off. After you've checked the hearing aid, it'll be important to document proper use and function on an amplification monitoring form such as this. NC policy 1501-2.11 requires the routine check of hearing aids and external components of surgically implanted medical devices. So the monitoring form serves as your documentation. To record the student's hearing aids are working and being worn, you will need to follow the codes listed on your particular monitoring form. For example, on this form, you would place a check mark if the student's hearing aids are working and being worn by the student. Be sure to indicate and record if the hearing aids are not working or if a student is not wearing their hearing aids for some reason. Remember, without this documentation, you do not have proof and data that policy has been followed. 